Hey guys, so today I'm making the Allison Roman pot of pasta with chorizo breadcrumb. Um, and I'm also gonna steam some broccoli on the side and here's a bro broccoli rub for the pasta. I'm also making Lori's chocolate midnight cake from salt fat acid heat. I wanted to do a little special dinner tonight. You wanna start with making the cake first since you want it to cool completely. Okay, so in a bowl I put together the cacao powder, sugar, salt, flour, baking soda. So I'm just gonna, oh, and the salt. So I'm just gonna mix this all together. You wanna mix all your dry ingredients first before adding in any liquids. Okay, so I have two teaspoons of um, vanilla extract and I'm just gonna add my oil. And then I'm going to add my coffee that I made. And I need a one and a half cups of hot boiling coffee. Okay, this is how the um, coffee and the vanilla and the oil all mix in together. Okay, so it says make a well in the center and gradually whisk it in. And you wanna not put the eggs in right away because the coffee is really hot and you don't wanna cook the eggs. So the batter is super smooth. You see how silky it is? Now you add the eggs in. And we're just going to keep mixing until they're fully incorporated. Okay, so do you see all the air bubbles that are forming? So she wants you just to like... Oh wow, did you see how that popped? So it'll pop all the air bubbles that formed. Keep doing that. But it kind of seems a little wobbly. I'm going to do a little test. Oh, oh, it didn't come out clean. I think it needs a few more minutes. Okay, so you see the big difference? Because it was like really kind of low and now it's like super lifted. I just wish it would make an ugly hole. Anyways. It's supposed to spring back to the touch, so let's do a touch. And it did. It's perfect. It's beautiful. And it smells lovely, and I'm going to let it completely cool. Okay, so you need like six garlic cloves, but I just did a little extra because I like them a lot. So I'm just going to thinly slice them. Um, I like to have like a little scrap bowl next to me to like collect any like, you know, like little scraps, you know, when you need to like just... You don't want to have your trash can there. You can have your little scrap bowl. Anyways, so yeah. Okay, so now this is going to be the um, pasta water and the blanching. And you want to do heavily salted water because you're not going to be adding any salt to the pasta or the broccoli. Maybe a little. So I'm going to quickly blanch my um, broccolini in here for 90 seconds. Okay, so I have my Dutch oven on high, not on high. I'm just like heating it up and I'm not gonna put any oil in it because the chorizo has a lot of fat. So it's gonna re release a lot of fat. Okay, so I steamed the broccoli for about 90 seconds or so. I'm just gonna add some wine, salt and pepper. This is just a side dish, honestly. Um, if you can't find chorizo, you can use hot um, Italian sausage. The chorizo is really good. I've actually made this before, but you're just gonna find any today so whatever actually a really good thing to do is break up the sausage into little pieces and then salt it so it'll brown better so it's okay if you have some green water but if you didn't um, get any broccoli to blanch you probably will just have regular water so now I'm gonna add all the pasta and let it cook okay so I'm just gonna grab a couple pieces of the meat and scatter it throughout and I'm not gonna touch it for like maybe like let it cook for maybe like four to three minutes without moving it and the reason i'm doing this is because you want to create like a nice like crust a good browning on it and the whole thing is obviously not going to get browned so you just want like a few pieces to get nice and brown so you get a nice little crunch or something like when you're eating it leave that for you know uh, maybe four minutes without touching Okay, so it's been about five minutes. Let's see if it got any brownie. Oh. Oh wow, yeah. Do you see that? Let's see. Look at that crust. A nice brownie. That's what you want. At least on some parts you can get some brownie. That looks really good. Okay, cool. We're on the right track to success. Okay, so um, the chorizo is cooked. 
So I'm gonna remove it. I mean, I already did remove it. So you know, it's just on a plate now, okay? So I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, but you can see that um, the chorizo actually let out a lot of fat. So we have a lot of fat and I'm just gonna add a little bit. I want you to add like a cup of um, breadcrumbs, but I'm just gonna free ball it. That looks like about a cup. Salt and pepper it. Uh, a little bit of salt. And the olive oil to the pan. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the garlic. Toast it a little bit. And then you're gonna add the tomato paste. Garlic is nice and toasty already. And I'm going to add four ounces of tomato paste. And then we're just gonna cook this. You see it's a bright red color. So we're just gonna cook this until it's a bit of a darker brick color. Got a little dark. So now I'm going to add the broccoli rub. I'm gonna add salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna keep stirring this until everything is wilted. Okay, so I turn the heat back on. We're gonna add our chorizo back in. Keep going. And I'm also going to add my pasta. And it's also super important to save a cup of pasta water because this is, has a lot of starch in it, so it's gonna create a glossy sauce. So that's pretty much it, and we're just gonna mix it until it becomes a chorizo-y emulsified sauce. Okay, so now I'm just going to add some of the breadcrumbs. They're gonna give it a nice crunch and they taste like chorizo. Then you're gonna add a little bit of cheese. And look at that, pure perfection. You're done. Wow. I've actually made this already like three or four times. It's my favorite dish. I highly recommend you try it. I You're supposed to use like a cream cheese frosting, but I don't have a a stand mixer with me today, so I'm just gonna melt chocolate with butter and milk and make like a ganache for the chocolate cake. When the chocolate melts, you just want it to be really silky and nice. So I have some butter, chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, and some creamer. So I have a little thing of water boiling. Preferably, I'd like it if you use a glass bowl, but this is all she has, so I will see if it works. And you're just gonna put it over because you want to gently Gently cook the chocolate. Now it's perfect. Immediately pour it over your cooled cake. Okay, so now we're just gonna pour this hot ganache all over the cake. It's pretty, that's literally all you just need to do. Oh shit, it's slipping. Oh, you see, you got a little, I got a little thing, but whatever. Mm. Wow, this is incredible. It's such a simple dessert. So fast, so easy, so perfect. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.